Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm John for Note Defined by Studios and today I want to share with you how you can easily create chords for Future Bass in Ableton Live using only a couple of MIDI effects. So here's what our chord progression sounds like with the MIDI effects off. And here's what the same chord progression sounds like with the MIDI effects on. And this was done using only a couple of MIDI effects and a little bit of automation. So with the MIDI effects on, we're able to quickly create chords using only one note for each chord. So here's a quick song idea that I wrote using these chords and this chord progression as a starting point. If you liked any of the sounds that you just heard, they are taken from Ableton's Future Bass Massive Presets and Future Bass Drums. So let's take a look at how to create these chords. And the first MIDI effect that we're going to be adding is the chord MIDI effect. And what this MIDI effect allows us to do is create a chord from a single MIDI note by adding additional notes to create the chord. The chord MIDI effect is comprised of six shift knobs, and each one of these shift knobs represents a new note that can be added to the chord. So let's go on ahead and add a new note to the chord using the first shift knob. As you can hear, a second note is being added to the chord based off of how many semitones it is from the notes that we played. So using these different shift notes, we can create a number of different chords based off of one note. But the chord that I want to show you how to make today is a seventh chord. A seventh chord is a full note chord that you'll often hear used in future bass music, but you could use this chord in any genre of music. For this song, I like the sound of the chords that I was getting using a major seventh chord, so let me show you how to make that. The way that you make a major seventh chord is the first note of the chord is your root note. The second note is four semitones up from the first note. The third note is three semitones up from the second note. And the fourth note is four semitones up from the third note. So let's go on ahead and create this chord with the chord MIDI effect. The first note of the chord is always played by the chord MIDI effect. So let's add the second note by going up four semitones, the third note by going up three semitones from the second note, and the fourth note by going up four semitones from the third note. The problem with using the chord MIDI effect like this is that not all the notes that it creates will be in the key of the song that you are in. So to fix that, we will add the scale MIDI effect, and I will be using the C minor preset. Which scale you use all depends on which scale you are writing in, so if you're writing in a major scale, then you would pick the C major preset. The last thing to do is change the bass note of the key of your scale. This song is written in G minor, so I will change the bass note from C to G, and now every note of each chord will be in the key of G minor. Now if you want to save this as a preset, select both the scale and the chord MIDI effects and group them together into a MIDI effects rack. I'm going to name this Future Bass Chords, but you could also name it something like Major 7th Chord. Next we are going to click here to save this MIDI effects rack as a preset, and you can name it Future Bass Chords. As you can see, I already have a Future Bass Chords preset, so I don't need to save this one. After you're done saving, you can find your Future Bass Chords preset in the MIDI Effects section under the MIDI Effects Rack Presets, and this will give you quick access to the Future Bass Chords preset. Now let's say that you want to add another note, but you only want to add it to a certain section of the song. For this, we can use automation. So I'll just click on the note that I want to add, and I'll go to the section that I want to automate it. And I'll move this up to the place that I want the next note to be. So I'm going to set it to 14 semitones. And let's see what that sounds like. So 
So on this part, I actually want to play a different note. So I'll move this up one semitone. And on this end section over here, I actually don't want to play another note, so I'll move it back down to zero. Now, if you prefer working with MIDI instead of automating the notes, you can record the MIDI of the chords to a separate MIDI track. So let's make a new MIDI track and rename it to Chords MIDI. Next, we will select the input of this MIDI track and set to the output of the chords track. And now we can record all of the chords MIDI notes to a new clip. And once you're done recording the MIDI, you can rename the clip to something different if you want. I'll just go on ahead and rename this clip to Chords MIDI. And from here, you can edit the MIDI however you like. You can add notes, remove notes, move notes around, or do whatever you like in order to get the chords to sound the way that you want them to sound. And that is how you can easily create chords in Ableton Live using the chord and scale MIDI effects. There are a lot of different chords that you can create using both of these MIDI effects. For instance, you can make a minor 7th chord by changing the chord MIDI effect settings from 4, 7, and 11 to 3, 7, and 10. So definitely play around with different values and try and see what different kind of chords you can create. If you learned something from this video and you found it to be helpful, feel free to give it a like. Subscribe to Ableton's YouTube channel for more production tips and tutorials. And if you liked any of the sounds that you heard in this video, check out Ableton's.com for more high quality sample packs, presets, and Ableton Live templates. I'm John from Undefined by Studios. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.